Chapter 39 – Finding Balance in Relationships As Max and Sam's journey progressed, they found themselves facing the intricate dance of maintaining relationships, navigating the delicate balance between their friendship and their connections with others. Their bond became a compass, guiding them through the complexities of relationships while reinforcing the strength of their own connection. On a serene afternoon, Max and Sam sat by a tranquil lake, the gentle ripples of the water mirroring the ebb and flow of their thoughts. Max's gaze was contemplative. Sam, the art of maintaining relationships is like a dance of harmony. It's about finding the rhythm that allows us to nurture connections without compromising our own. Quote, Sam nodded in agreement, their expression understanding. You're right, Max. Our friendship is a guiding light that helps us navigate the intricate paths of relationships. It's a reminder that we can be present for others while still cherishing the bond we share. Quote, as they watched the sunlight dance on the water's surface, Max spoke about the moments they had encountered where they had to balance their time between their friendship and other relationships. Sam's smile was thoughtful. Max, finding balance in relationships is a testament to our adaptability. Your willingness to connect with others while staying grounded in our bond is admirable. Quote, Sam, in turn, shared their insights about the complexities of maintaining connections with various people in their lives. Max's presence was a reassuring force as he listened, offering understanding and a shared sense of navigation. Max's voice was reflective. Sam, our friendship is a compass that points us toward balance. It's a reminder that our connections with others enrich our lives while our bond remains steadfast. Quote, in the days that followed, Max and Sam continued to explore the intricacies of relationships, discovering that their friendship provided a sturdy foundation upon which they could build connections with others. They found that their bond's resilience allowed them to engage in various relationships without losing their sense of self. One evening, as the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, Max turned to Sam with a question. Sam, do you believe that our friendship's foundation of trust and mutual respect aids us in finding balance in our relationships? It's like having a North Star to guide us. Quote, Sam's eyes held a sense of insight. I believe our friendship is a reference point, Max. It reminds us of our values and priorities, guiding us as we navigate the various connections in our lives. Quote, Max nodded in agreement. And your ability to be present for others while staying true to our bond, Sam, has made this balancing act even more harmonious. Your consideration and authenticity are a testament to your character. Quote, as the night unfolded around them, Max and Sam felt a profound sense of unity. Their journey had been marked by the art of balancing relationships, a journey that had taught them the importance of nurturing connections while preserving their own. Max spoke with a sense of reflection. Sam, our journey has shown me the beauty of cherishing relationships without losing sight of our own. Just as a tightrope walker balances gracefully, so does our friendship remind us of the delicate equilibrium we can achieve. Quote, Sam's voice was heartfelt. And your presence, Max, has made this journey even more meaningful. Your dedication to being present for others while maintaining our bond is a true testament to our connection. Quote, as the night wrapped around them, Max and Sam felt a renewed sense of unity. Their shared exploration of balancing relationships had become a testament to their friendship's depth, a journey of navigation, understanding, and a bond that continued to flourish as they embraced the connections in their lives. And so, Max and Sam's journey continued to be a dance of connections, a reminder that finding balance in relationships could lead to a life that was enriched by the bonds they shared.